So I want to do a video on something that you may encounter in the real world. Have you ever heard of a reverse Mini-Me? Mini-Me swap is whenever you take a Civic engine that normally is non-VTEC and you swap it with a VTEC head, put the VTEC computer on it, and ta-da, you have VTEC now. Well, in this one, in this case, our 95 Honda Civic, we actually did the opposite. Now, I'll explain why we did the opposite. So when we originally got this, somebody had totally fudged the whole entire engine head. It looked like they used an impact on the rocker assembly and just cracked all of it. So none of the rocker assembly was usable, the head was messed up, and they tried to be lazy when they put the head gasket on. They tried to take the whole head up with the intake and slide it underneath, and when it did, it pinched and gouged a little bit out of the block. The gouge on the block was easily fixable because we just took a little JB weld, cleaned up really good, smoothed some JB weld over the little scratch, and sanded it flat, and it made a perfect mating surface. Now, in this case, we did not have another engine head. This is a D16Z6 from 1994 that's in the car, the engine block. We found what we could find, which was an engine for about 300 bucks. It was a D16Y7 from 1998. We picked up the engine. The block couldn't be used because the motor mount had been bashed out of the block where the threads go in. So we took the head off. It was so new, it only had 8,000 miles on it because the car it was in had been wrecked. And the head was immaculate. There's even blue Honda paint on the springs. So what we did, we started with the D16Z6 block down here. We put the Y7 head on with a Felpro Permatorque head gasket. We used the Z16Z6 intake manifold. For the intake manifold gasket, we actually used the D16Y7 or D16Y8 intake manifold gasket. We used the D16Z6 exhaust manifold. Now, I don't remember which exhaust manifold gasket we used. I think they may be the same. I'll throw a part number up on the screen after I look at my notes. So to make a distributor work on this Y7 engine head, you have to have one that fits it. The D16Z6 distributor will not fit on this engine head. So what you have to do is you have to find a housing that fits the Y7 head, no matter what it is, it could be off of Y7 or Y8, and gut the inside and put the internals of the Z6 distributor in it to make it work. I did that for a couple months until we found this distributor. This distributor fits perfectly and is perfect for this application. This is off of the D15B7. That is the non-VTEC version of the Z6, is the B7. It's the 1.5. For the spark plug wires, you can use either D16Y7 non-VTEC wires or D16Y8 VTEC wires. They're exactly the same. 1996 to 2000 year Civic wires will fit directly on this. Now the fuel system, you could probably just reuse the, the D16Z6 fuel system but ours was all clogged up and nasty, so we actually switched ours completely out. So the fuel rail and the fuel injectors and the hose and all of that is off of a D15B7. The fuel injectors are 235cc flow rate. Of course, you won't be using your VTEC anymore, so you're going to have stray wires. You can chop them off or you can just tuck them. Ours were actually chopped off, chopped off at the harness because the last person that had this car thought it would be a great idea to butcher the harness. So I quick connected a VTEC harness on here for later in case Angie wants to upgrade this to VTEC later. For the cam gear, since it's on a Y7 head, you can use a Y7 or a Y8 cam gear. They are both the same. For the timing belt, you can use a D16Z6, D16Y8, or D16Y7 timing belt. Uh, they're all the same size. They will all intermix. The only weird thing I ran into with this build was with the engine head bolts. These Y heads, there's a distance difference in this back corner for that bolt. So I'll let past me explain this. So that's the Z6 head. This is the Y7 head that I'm trying to put on here. And the block's a Z6. Got Z6 bolts. Let's put them all in there. The one that everybody talks about that you have to have a different size bolt 
is on the Y8 there's a VTEC solenoid back there because it's a VTEC motor and the size is different so I want to put all of them in every single one of these fits wonderfully but that back corner even though this isn't a VTEC is still a different height than the Z6 head I had I think probably about one washer of spit like one and a half washers of space that I had to clear up so I put two washers on here I couldn't find a washer in my garage to fit on this Chevy parts saving the day I found I had a kit a while back for my torque converter for my 79 Chevy van the washer came on the new set that I didn't need fit directly on here I'm gonna put these on and we'll get to see how this works unlike Honda Accords you do not have to worry about a oil restrictor in the engine blocks because those are built into the Y heads for the harmonic balancer on the bottom we just used the regular D16 Z6 that came with the engine block for the computer we're using a 1992 to 1995 Honda Civic P06 ECU the PF6 ECUs were the non-VTEC ECU that the D15 B7 used. So with that, it runs, operates properly, doesn't have any issues, and the check engine light isn't on because there's no VTEC. So it runs just like it would normally. That's pretty much the gist of it. Take a non-VTEC D16 Y7 head, drop it on a Z6 block, you can keep the same timing belt, keep the same exhaust manifold, keep the same intake manifold. Only, the only thing you have issues with is the distributor because it's got to be a D15B7 distributor or you have to retrofit a Y7 or Y8 distributor with the insides of the Z6 one. The rest of it goes together just about the same except for that washer situation that we discussed. Pretty simple and straightforward. This process would be for if you were in a situation like us where you just need you just wanted the car running and just so happened to run across 8,000 mile Y7 head and went, well, that's the best option for the whole car. That'll last forever. Or if you just need to get back and forth to work and something happened and you've got a bent valve or something happened, you know, timing brake belt broke and your block and your pistons are hopefully salvageable, but your head is done, this would be a good way to get back and forth to work real quick. And if you know what you're doing, this could be a real quick, like middle of the night or your day off and it could get you back to work. Hope this helps somebody. I could barely find any information on this back when I did this and I'm hoping that this will help somebody because this will give you the information.